The difference engine was designed to tackle a specific type of math problem, polynomial functions. They might sound a bit intimidating, but they're actually used all over the place in science and engineering. Think of anything that involves curves or rates of change, calculating trajectories, predicting astronomical events, even understanding population growth. Before Babbage, working with these equations by hand was a nightmare. So he basically found a shortcut, this mathematical trick called finite differences that breaks down these complex equations into simpler steps that can be done mechanically. It's like he found a way to automate complex math itself. That's exactly it. And that's the beauty of the difference engine. It takes this you know, abstract mathematical idea and makes it tangible. A physical machine with gears and levers doing what used to take humans hours to do. I'm seeing a pattern here. First, it's all about accuracy, and then it's all about efficiency. So is this like a stepping stone to the analytical engine? Mm -hmm. It definitely seems that way. The difference engine was innovative for sure, but it was still really designed for a specific purpose. The analytical engine, though, that takes things to a whole new level, this is where we start to see the real foreshadowing of modern computers. This is where things start to get really mind-blowing. It's not just a fancy calculator anymore. The analytical engine was designed to be programmable, using punch cards like those used in the Jacquard loom to perform any calculation. Exactly. The implications of that are huge. We're not limited to just one task anymore. In theory, with the right instructions, the analytical engine could solve an endless variety of problems. It's like leaping from a simple abacus straight to a modern computer. Yeah. 